Guys, I can't believe this happened. MLB The Show just released a new 99 Kyle Schwarber. And you know the first thing I'm looking at whenever I see a Kyle Schwarber card is those secondary positions. And they actually did it. They gave him catcher. That's what I'm talking about. This shit means something to me, man. For those of you who don't know, Lightning Kyle Schwarber from MLB 21 is my favorite catcher in Diamond Dynasty history. And they actually gave him catcher. I am shocked. I didn't think this was going to happen. I, I tweeted this when they revealed the card today. And then they responded with this. I mean, he's in a Phillies jersey on this card. He hasn't played catcher once for the Phillies. Granted, on that Lightning card, he was a National. And I don't think he played catcher for the Nationals either. But regardless, Schwarber has catcher. And I am stoked. Now, Kyle Schwarber is one of the two new Diamond Duo players. I have a little bit to say about that when we get into the gameplay. But for now, I've got Kyle Schwarber at catcher. The God Squad is ready to go. Let's see how he does in his debut. As I look for a game, just a reminder, if you're going to any baseball games coming up, remember to use code Coogs on SeatGeek to save $20 off your tickets. And check out Underdog Fantasy for daily fantasy sports. These are my pick -em entries for today's MLB games. I won my last entry, hoping to get another W today. Sign up with code Coogs and they'll match your first deposit all the way up to $100. It's gonna be Nolan Ryan against Schwarber. Oh, he has Schwarber too. There he is, man, Kyle Schwarber. I assume he probably has him at catcher. I mean... If you're going to use this Schwarber card, you're either going to use him at catcher or DH, it feels like. With all the other good outfielders in the game, it feels like kind of a waste to actually play him in the field. Interesting strike out there. That's a one, two, three. Let's get Kyle Schwarber his first at bat. Also, I have faced Nolan Ryan a lot lately. Did everybody just get Nolan Ryan within the past like week or something? Here we go. He's at the plate. This is the most excited I've been for a debut in a while. <laughs> Good pitch. All right, one, two. Full count now. Come on, Schwarbs. No, dude, he gave me a circle change. Yeah, I was way too out in front. Damn, we're both 0 for 1 with Kyle Schwarber. But going back to what I said at the beginning of the video, Kyle Schwarber is available in the new Diamond Duo Pack alongside Walker Bueller. And I do have some thoughts on that because... I've already, oh man, that's a nasty pitch. Throughout season two, I've explained some of the issues I have with content as well as uh, echo some of the opinions I've seen on social media from other people. And while I am extremely excited to use this Kyle Schwarber card, he's a card that I've been anticipating using for well, not really anticipating using because I didn't expect him to give catcher, but he's a card that I've been wanting for a very long time. And they put him in a diamond duo pack Oh, that ball was smoked, but we're there. They put him in a diamond duo pack, knowing that a lot of people would be excited for this player. And that's kind of the theme that we've seen in season two, or I guess since the start of the game, actually. They keep releasing kind of middle of the road, mediocre players in programs, and they're putting a lot of the good players behind either diamond duo packs, chase packs, or collections. And that to me is not the best model of content because you obviously want players and packs to have value. Otherwise, there's no reason to open packs. And you also want collection cards to have value because otherwise, what's the point of doing collections? But when every single program is a 97 overall other than monthly awards, and it doesn't really feel like there's a lot of ways for people to earn good 99 overall players outside of the packs and collections, it's kind of frustrating. And I really hope SDS can tweak the content in season three to make it a little bit more uh, player friendly. And I don't think anybody's asking for 99s only in programs. The 95s, 97s still have their place. But when we're doing these programs with long grinds, it would be nice to have a 99 at the end of it, just to have it feel like there was at least something we earned other than just collection filler. I think that's where a lot of people's frustrations lie. And then when you see all these good players behind packs, it adds to the frustration. All right, back to the gameplay. Let's get a dub. Oof, okay, down one. That's a nice oppo swing on a breaking pitch. Got Mickey there. He'll make that catch all day. Back to Kyle Schwarber at the top of the lineup. Oh, I struck out in the changeup with Schwarber as well, man. I feel your pain. Nice pitch. There we go. Babe Ruth. 
tie ball game. Love to see him take that fastball oppo. Come on, Jeter. Set up Schwarber with two outs in this inning. Oh, he's going to do it. That's a fluke. That's a fluke. Stay at first. Kyle Schwarber gets a chance in the third. Okay, we'll take second base. 3-2, Schwarber. Come on. No, man. I knew he was going to go with a fastball high. Freaking PCI was off. Who's going to get a hit with Schwarber first? Woo! <laughs> Hammer and Hank. High and in. He got that 100-mile-an-hour fastball. 3-1 on Chipper. He might go high and in here. I'm going to guess. I knew it. I was still late, though. <laughs> That's two bases. Come on, man. Keep the inning going. You got runners on the corners for David Wright. You didn't go for the double play to end the inning. Instead, you just allowed me a free run. Thank you very much. Mm. Under it. Oh, dude, that was a hanger, too. And hey, that just means Kyle Schwarber is set up for an at-bat in the fifth. Man, McCullers is dealing right now. Seven strikeouts. We're only in the fifth. I got him guessing right now. Slider away. I, I don't know. McCullers just has it right now. Here we go. He's 0 for 2. I'm feeling good about this, AB. Okay, I'll take the single. I get the first hit with Schwarber. Oh, here we go. Come on. Let's make it happen with two outs. Full count. They're on the move. Come on. No, I was early. Damn. Really would have been nice to get those runs across. All right, Lance. Don't let Kyle Schorber hurt you. 3 0 count. I mean, I got to throw him a strike. Or not. Um, okay. Apparently, I can't locate now. Is this guy power swinging? I feel like he's had a lot of check swings go against him. Okay. Um, a double play still gets us out of this inning. Come on. I'm going to go for the strikeout, though. Got him. Ten strikeouts for McCullers. And we got Freddy. Six innings of one run ball for Lance. Come on. We need to give him some more insurance. And we did. Chipper Jones. Left center field. That is going, right? What? That ball looked like it was absolutely launched. It wasn't the best swing in the world, but I am shocked that stayed in. Am I crazy or was Chipper's a better swing? Bottom seven, Schwarber's due up third. Could be his last AB. Ooh. Oh, I don't know why I got frozen on that. Derek Jeter once again with a late hit to set up Kyle Schwarber. Schwarbs, this might be it. I need it right here, man. You gotta be kidding me. I just popped up on a four seam like that. No, man. Ah, uh, do why couldn't you throw that pitch to Schwarber? I would have crushed that. Hank Aaron is second of the game. Big lead now. Oh, oh, let's go. Yes. Chipper is what? Hitter number five, so we're at six. So that means in the bottom of the eighth, we'd be seven, eight, and nine. Just a couple more base runners. We could give Schwarber one more chance. Okay, come on. The bottom of the eighth is going to be a huge inning. Kyle Schwarber all of a sudden has a guy on first base. I'm going to go back to the pitch that struck him out earlier. The change up low and in. He's technically having a better game with Schwarber than I am. All right, hold on. Second and third. Nobody out. Don't. Don't let him get back in this game. That's a big pitch. Strikeout number 12. He's got Chipper up and then Mike Trout after him. I'm going to walk Chipper and I'm going to face Trout with him loaded. Hey, Bruce, can you get there? Can you get there? Can you get there? Yes, he can. Eight pitch at bat on Freddie Freeman. He's battling. Oh, what a game from Lance McCullers Jr. Come on, bottom of the order. Get Schwarber another chance. Yes, David Wright. Yes. Don't get thrown out of first base. Okay, we're good. No double plays. I'm going to a righty, in fact. Or no, I'm going to go to Carlos Santana, a switch hitter. 
Fair ball, second and third. Actually, I'm going to score on that. Wait, I do have to be careful, though, because if Sammy Sosa hits a home run, that's a walk-off. I'm actually going to take. I'm, I'm not going to swing the bat. I'm not swinging the bat until Kyle Schwarber comes up. I'm not walking this off and ruining the chance of him getting an at-bat. All right. Here we go, Schwarbs. I can't believe I ended my day with Schwarber like that. Ninth inning, two outs. Who else would be up but Kyle Schwarber here? Oh, he just had to add insult to injury. He now has two hits with Kyle Schwarber. You know, I would have rather lost this game but gone four for four with Kyle Schwarber than win it nine to three with him going one for five. Oh man, I really wanted to have a better game with Schwarber, but you know what? He's going to be in my lineup. Whether he's the DH, whether he's catcher, it doesn't matter. You're going to see more of Kyle Schwarber coming up.